What's going on, guys? Waco from Revolution here with Eleanor Picciotto and Benjamin Colmott, who is the CEO of Piaget. How are you, sir? How are you, Waco? Good to see you. Dude, I love your booth. The vibe is fantastic. I feel like I've stepped back in the time machine into the 1970s for the Piaget Society. I love it. It's exactly what uh, I'm happy you see that because it's exactly what, what we wanted to do to, to mix the gold craft, the, the opal, which is uh, this survival stone that used by Yves Piaget to do the sacred bar as well with the cocktails and. and uh, and to have the, the, all, all this uh, so I'm happy. And the mezzanine, did you go to the mezzanine upstairs? Uh, yeah. like I a, did. A VIP room. VIP you know, section. For, yeah, VIP section. So I want to make a prediction here. Uh, so guys, I would say within the next two years, Piaget is going to be the hottest brand around. And I think that all of what we the love and, and adore, like the hearts and the dials, the shape watches, the incredible competence, incidentally, in ultra thin in, uh, in-house movements, which I think is amazing. Also woven bracelets as well and precious metal. All of this is coming to the forefront of the zeitgeist of the culture today and I think the next thing actually you know what I would do about you if you are interested you should go buy a vintage Piaget Hearthstone dial watch because I think the values of these watches will actually go up considerably in the next couple of years but okay let's talk about the modern watches Benjamin uh, you've had a great reception to the Content Perpetual tell us a little bit about that watch sir Oh yeah, the, 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 we, we didn't launch a, 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 a perpetual calendar for, for a long time, so we were happy to do it on the Polo, on the Polo range, which is our hardest range of, uh, for, for Piaget. What we did, we did this incredible chameleon type of, of, of dials, which is a mix of blue and green. It's a very specific color. Uh, as well, we, we reshaped the bracelets to put the gold ones, like the original Polo, uh, and as well, uh, improved the intention. Interchangeability. So Thank you very much. Do you need to be on the watch? Or? Uh, no, he already so shot that watch. Oh, sorry, so that's okay. our and, and So let's go back again. So it's, and it's uh, ultra thin as well, QP, uh, among the ultra thin. Uh, With an interchangeable bracelet as well. Interchangeable yeah. bracelet as well. And you so you have in rubber, in, 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 in alligator, or obviously in, in steel. In steel. So Fantastic. A lot of improvement. I have to say, actually, I remember when you launched it and you announced the price, from a value proposition, it's very attractive. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's a, it's it's a, a good price. It's a well price for the yeah. market. Yeah, it's yeah, a good exactly. price for the market. But and we need a more higher price as well for the market. So uh, like this one. With, with a six euro. So we have one as well in pink gold with, with, with the same same uh, same dial, but we have a special, very special dial as a tribute to the culture of, of those hard, hard uh, stone dial you just mentioned. That which value was going to go up as well. Yeah, but no, for I, the I first time on the Polo, we have uh, on the QP obsidian. Wow. Uh, a blue stone, obsidian. Blue obsidian. We've seen absolutely. different colors of obsidian. And sapphire, uh, uh, sapphires around the, around the, the, the bezel um, with, with black coating to make them uh, uh, more imposing more on, the, more on, imposing on the bezel. On the rest, and that comes as well with rubber bracelet and, and crocodile. I well, Benjamin, I think that's one of the great things that you do is the subtlety of details as well. You know, and, and the improvement of the interchangeability, the use of this black coating to improve the profondeur of these uh, beautiful blue sapphires. I mean, you, these are all touches that uh, you bring to the to, to the game. Yeah, right? we try, we try to, what we try to do, and as well to give to Polo the, the identity of the, of, of the brand as well, and and, and to mix as well uh, everything we do the palace decor on, on, on position ring uh, which is less of your subject but it is as well to have like a, a global coherent and relevant uh, collection for, for, for the, c the customers to see. Just before I hand it over to Eleanor I just want to ask you one question you mentioned the Gaudron on the bracelet uh, it's a little bit reminiscent of the original Polo yeah uh, you know that's one of my favorite watches I know right? I know do, do I you know you a we had a dinner in Singapore yes. all about <laughs> it I'm just know? saying I'm just saying <laughs> I, if that day should ever come uh, not that I know it will but but if it should ever come, could I buy one of those? Sure, you will be one of the first ones to have it. So Thank you very much. Stay awesome. tuned. Yeah. You heard it here. <laughs> so, Eleanor, take it away. Well, I think uh, if we want to talk about Blue Sapphire, this mesmerizing piece has been quite a piece of work, according to your saying, in, in, in gem sourcing and in setting such a, a jewelry yet uh, watch piece. Yeah, I mean, Thank you for noticing that, uh, Eleanor. I'm, I'm sorry for my English. They speak so well English, both of them. I learned from the best. <laughs> um, I, uh, we are very special in degradé. We do that on, on the on the gala, you know, uh, uh, bezel. We do that on on, on the love pieces, and for the first time, we do that on on Oha, which is an iconic, hyper jury watch you know I mean full 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 baguette calibre uh, uh, stone and so in order to do that and to have a smooth transition between the blue and the and and and, and, and the white obviously we had to find sapphires on the uh, which are purity perfect purity to cut that obviously to the to the size but to have lines that are obviously coherent that was a 
an hour, a, a year of searching the stones. Uh, and you have one of the best team in, in the industry when it comes to yeah, so. sourcing I, I, gemstones I, I, and coloring. I, I, I think so, and we have to have that because you, in our, most of the watch you will see degradé like this, and that, that's the tougher thing to, mm -hmm. to, to, to do. Right. And so that's obviously a, a, a unique piece. And actually, well, talking of degradé and craftsmanship, I, I here don't think it's. We can do two of these. And I, well, I think this one is a bit hard as well. We have a combination of three mastercraft. We have finding the perfect emerald, finding an amazing opal, which is a DNA and Piaget signature, but most importantly, one of the decor. You've, you have more than 80 decor in Piaget culture, history, DNA, heritage. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, this one is uh, first, uh, that's the magic of, of, of the artisan is to transform her. Uh, a bracelet with with a uh, with a uh, links to to uh, 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 a full uh, uh, ruban uh, like a band like a band mm -hmm. uh, as a cuff and we have obviously the palace decor we just mentioned which is uh, the work of an engraving the perfect and imperfection so like Givre, we call Givre, huh? mm -hmm. so for very natural oriented oh. uh, the opal selection at I'm happy you, you know this that uh, because. Um, you see the, the, the green is, is so party oriented for me it's so piaget this, this stone because there's everything in stone that multiple colors shines different it's very very uh, joyful and then obviously the degradé of, uh, of emerald from, from a very light green to a very deep green uh, on, on, on the side of the the whole subtlety of the, the subtlety of black well. opal and the frosted uh, rendering that yeah, you have on the bracelet and I think now, if we can move to the, I guess the last part, my favorite are the necklaces, because it's not just a necklace; it's a necklace that gives the time. Oh, it's a very, very, very. I'm actually wearing very, one. Yeah, I, I see. Simplicity. It suits you very well. Um, is the is a new way? Is a, Piaget was very known to do that in the 70s, and and they want to design those necklaces to be free. To we call it they call it swinging sautoir, right. which is like. A, Always in, on, on, on very few, a lot of flexibility, uh, you know, very easy to wear, but as well giving time and you, you lift the, the uh, very elegantly, you, you lift the watch and you, and you can see the time. So we did three editions, uh, three this year, one in emerald. With a uh, massive uh, cabochon emerald. emerald. Massive cabochon I mean, emerald from Zambia. We, we should try them all on you. So yeah. which is the one that you're wearing now? The one is turquoise. Okay, uh, I'll be a model for you. Yeah, please. So the this is the turquoise gold. diamond. It's not hitting the mic though, right? No, you won't. I have to take it oh. off. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a close. We have a class as well. Right? <laughs> 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 you're talking to me like this. Okay. You have to climb me out of the window of your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Fine. This one doesn't need a class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy uh, the artisan doesn't see you. Uh, <laughs> didn't scratch it though. With a, with a very nice uh, cabochon, a Zambian uh, emerald, and as well the, the, the watch like this and the, and the pendants. Wonderful. What was very interesting yeah, at the time, they would draw the piece on, on, on picture of ladies from advertise, from fashion advertising. Oh really? Oh, okay. And, and, and they would send the designer to do Paris Fashion Week at the time to, oh, wow. to get the sense of this right. fluidity that, that was needed. But it was very funny that they draw, not as a regular drawing on, on, on gray paper, but really on, on models of wow. each shot. And that's how the flexibility uh, right. uh, would decide on the, on the wearability of the necklace. Of and course. I think it was, that was very fun. I will, I'll show you. But you know, it's this. what I find really This cool. one is the last one, and I yeah. think it's... This one, one of the, the favorites. Chain as well, which is which is an amazing one. It's in incredibly refined. It's extraordinarily beautiful, but it's not old fashioned. It's fun. It's yeah, like, it's cool. They've got a lot of modern uh, things. I mean, uh, you have a you have a bezel set with like a, a cushion cut diamond. You have the decor palace, which was a, one of the most famous decor that was created in the nineteen sixty, which was a hand graved decor. That's basically you have you have lines of gold that is a perfect imperfection because it's all made by hand and in high jewelry pieces. So they're all different, obviously. They're all different. Question for you, uh, both of you, actually. So um, how would a woman wear this? Like, what would she wear it with, for example? Can you, can you dress it up or can you dress it down? Is both. It yeah. <laughs> 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 camera, uh, off camera. Yeah. I would say <laughs> a piece like this, you can't be, either you go full on and you wear all the hippie bohemian chic and you just like add on as well, if like you that. wanted to stack it. Yeah. Because then it makes just a casual yet super cool and intricate piece of jewelry that makes it just 
simple or you can wear it and you just wear this you don't wear any rings you don't wear any necklace you don't wear any other necklace you don't wear any earrings yes. and it's just a statement piece and you're just pulling uh, it off i like the bohemian thing it was like a very uh, talitha getty uh, marrakesh kind of exactly yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fantastic i could do both yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i think i think it's a very versatile product and not only it's versatile yeah. but it, it actually i think it works for any generation absolutely you can be 18 and you can be 75 you're still going to have a purpose and meaning it's going to be easy to work it's about age about the spirit and, right. and, and, and attitude and attitude very agree. cool but you see in, in the code the picture we took for the for the for the, for the, for the, uh, campaign. For the, here, for the, the campaign. campaign you see it's worked very nice with the, with the black jacket uh, well it's congratulations because yeah. it's absolutely stunning absolutely um, thank, you. thank you for thank the insights uh, thank you for the story we feel a great sense of energy coming from yeah, here and i think i think it's you brother so well thank done. You. Thank you for everything. You know, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Well done. Thanks, guys.